Discussions at the 14th International Media Forum on the Protection of Nature were focused on the economy and finance in the carbon-free era. In a normal world, economy and finance sectors have to be guided by politics, but what often happens is the opposite. This conference is meant to start that discussion because the two sectors can help us achieve the sustainable development goals faster. We want the sector to become more low carbon and invest in low carbon industries. This cannot happen now, but we must start to use less natural resources now. America's leadership in the climate change discussions and the Trump effect was also a topic here. He is, of course, undoing the things his predecessor did to make the United States active in climate action, um, which is regrettable, but we are finding that subnational governments, our states and our communities and our businesses, are taking up the slack and uh, assuming leadership on the issue in the United States. It's also the question of how should development be measured? Should it just be by the GDP or by other indices like how happy are the people of a nation? How are their environments protected? And of course, how are the resources used for the benefit of the people? You know, we estimated several years ago that the, con the total contribution of ecosystem services, the benefits, the free benefits that nature provides to us is, is much larger than GDP you know, as, as a whole. So leaving those out really is missing, missing a lot. There's been a lot of work surveying people, asking them you know, how, how, uh, how well they're doing. I, for, I don't know the results offhand for, for Nigeria, but what we find is that has not been improving over time. Uh, in, in most countries. You know, people's sense of well-being, their life satisfaction has not been improving, even though you know, uh, GDP and economic activity has been going up over that whole time period. But bringing that into the equation, <clears throat> uh, bringing in the positive contributions of social and natural capital, I think that's, that's the challenge going forward. And I think we'll do a lot more uh, with this idea of building what you might call well-being economies. Those ESA journalists are important players in the protection of the ecosystem and driving stories that can pull investment in sustainable development projects and businesses. That they don't go to the banks, yeah, fill up forms and things like that because most banks wouldn't give them the money because it's not sure, not safe and not secure for the banks. So they go for crowdfunding and then they tell their stories and then some people come and they invest in, in innovation. Yeah? And, and then, of course, this uh, sometimes are very good stories for the media as well. Ogochi Olivo, TVC News, Florence, Italy.